not African. I'm not American. I'm not going to label myself any further, any longer, because those are traps. Those are traps. Hello, and thank you for being here and supporting this channel by taking time to watch this video. Today, we'll be discussing Go Back to Africa's video where he says, don't dare call him African. He's been making a lot of crazy statements lately. So let's hear what he has to say. What's up, family? This is your man, Lacha Boy, bringing you another gold nugget that you can either pick up or you can just kick it aside. I'm just wanting to share some light on some things, you know. My subject matter, don't call me African. So walk with me on this journey, you all, because I believe I have something that's going to be prevalent, profound, proficient in what I'm saying. Because today, many of us are labeling, naming ourselves many of things. You know, we've gone from comedics, Nubians. Um, we've gone from Negroes to black to Africans to Israelites to Hebrews to Jews to, and, and it continues. What I find is that over the years, I myself have had put labels um, upon me and have identified myself with many things. Now at the age of almost 58, you know, I am evolving into <laughs> removing labels and titles from off of me. I have identified by based upon world's opinions, world views world's definitions, world's cultural um, injunctions. Is that a bit? <laughs> Does that go with what? Um, the world's in injections, the world's, uh, you know. Okay, so what he's saying here or trying to say here is that, you know, so-called, he's not saying it, but he's talking about so-called white supremacy, you know, um, telling us, you know, who we are and what we should be and that type of thing. So, I mean, I can agree with him on that, but what have, I'm going to say, just the black collective done to, you know, tell them who we are? You know, we haven't done that. We've always let them tell us who we are. Way of pushing its beliefs and views upon you. Many of us walked away from any of that and decide we're going to do it ourselves and call ourselves what we believe we are. When we have a narrow perception of who we are by labeling ourselves based upon something we believe will strengthen us, equip us, validate us, we may be associating with us something or that thing that makes us weaker. Okay, that's not really true because as a group, we have to self-identify in order to gain any kind of power or freedom, political power or anything, economic power, just like the whites. I mean, I don't see, the, the white people aren't complaining. They're not saying, hey, you know what? I don't like being uh, called white. And, uh, you know, I don't like this label on me. So I don't, what he's saying doesn't make any sense. And um, I, I don't know. I, he just seems like he's really confused. There's a lot of people saying that he's an agent. And, you know, I don't know. You know, maybe he is. I'm kind of, you know, he's getting a side eye here. What is, what is this? Because our perceptions and our views is what enslaves us into a belief system. How could I label this a mount, a rock, with just a single word, we will give this a name and not even consider the fact this could be a home for something, a refuge for something. 
And see, this analogy is stupid because it's, a, it's still a rock. Whether it's the volcanic, uh, volcano rock or some other kind of rock, it's a rock formation. So it's still a rock. You know, a rock is a rock. And uh, he's trying to say, oh, well, you know, everybody has these different names for it, so what is it really? So uh, I don't know. I mean, he, he's trying to come off as the super wise guy that's almost 58 years old, as if he's the oldest guy in the world. And, you know, we should be listening to him for some reason. But um, that doesn't make any sense. A protection from the waves or the winds from the other side of where it goes. Within this, what we might call a rock, stands a multitude of minerals, substances. For the, this is a home for many species. And how would you call me then an African? How could you then call me black? How could you then call me Hebrew, an Israelite? Why would I want to limit myself in identifying with something? Okay, this guy, he's saying he's not black, he's not African, he's not Hebrew, he's not this, he's not that. So what is he then? You know, he can't, and you can't say human being because human beings... I mean, if you're trying to get some kind of, if you're trying to unify and trying to get some kind of economic uh, power as a group, uh, you're going to have to self-identify as something. That actually depletes me, limits me, narrows me. Why would we want to associate, we will define ourselves with words that really cannot define you. How can I identify myself in one word that will limit me and prohibit me from moving forward into this thing called life? Because if I use that definition, if I hinge on, live by the very word I define myself with, what this is, then, will become one track. It will only be utilized in a one way. That means then, your perception of yourself, it's what is limiting you and destroying you from becoming the greater that you are. I okay, so I just had to jump in here. Again, what he's saying makes absolutely no sense i don't know what he's talking about here i mean he was rambling this this video he put out here is like over an hour and uh i was able to whittle it down to about 15 minutes but it was really difficult to get through all the rambling so if you guys can please subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it and that i am because of our perception of only a one track mind limits us but when I ask the question of what this is, I have gotten a multitude of answers. Now, who is right and who is wrong? If we can apply the same example to our life, when people call you something, all the different answers you're going to get when somebody says, well, who is he? Then... Who is right and who's wrong? Well, our revelations of something should come spiritually. Not from here. Who are you? I'm See, he's saying all this stuff, but he never says who he is, who he actually is. I mean, if he's not black, he's not this, he's not that, he's not African. So he's really distancing himself for, from anything that has to do, you know, with being black or being African. So I, I don't know. It, it's like, where are you going with this guy? Not African. For me to say I'm African limits me. Af
African is, I would even just say it's a conglomerate of ethnicities. You know, it's, it, I, I look at it like an umbrella, you know, so African and then underneath that, your ethnic group. And I would say it, my ethnic group is American. It is American because, you know, I was born and raised in America. I am a descendant of Africans. I am a 100% DNA match for the Mende tribe. So you, you can get this information. You know, there's a guy coming up, you know, he's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what tribe I'm from. I don't know my language, blah, 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 blah. But if you really want to find out, you can. And you can connect with your culture. I would still say do it. Uh, from the well, you you can visit uh, and try to find out what you can, but um, you know, I I would still say you know don't move to Africa. But what is revealed to me through the Spirit is where I then can walk freer in knowing who I am. The world wants to always identify everything. And they want to box you in. See, you don't have to let the world decide who you are. You can decide who you are and tell the world who you are. So he's sitting here saying they're boxing you in. So, you know, so you're not supposed to identify as anything. You know, he's sitting here talking about uh, let the spirit define you. But what does that even mean? You know, more, you know, just, you know, more gobbledygook. You know, he, he's, you know, just babbling at this point. They want to keep you confined. The world wants to segregate. They want to categorize. They want to, to, to make sure that everybody believes they have an associate affiliation with only a few within a group. Because if it is that, it then limits the power that we have when trying to unite. Because then, the killer of uniting is when one believes they are something when they're not. Okay, I'm jumping in again. He's saying that we shouldn't identify with any of this stuff. You know, black or African, I'll just use those two. But, you know, at the same time, you know, he's saying, oh, you know, you're going to be boxed in and blah, 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 blah. And we can't unite. But how are we going to unite if we don't identify as a group as anything? You can't. There's no way. There's no way. When you believe that you are affiliated with this group, well, this group has a problem with that group. You're not going to unite together. When you believe that you are part of over here, you're not going to want to have an affiliation or will consider yourself to be either more important and they be less than than what you believe you are well you're not going to fix that by not identifying as african or hebrew or this or that uh you're just not i mean people should still be able to maintain their ethnic uh identity so I, i'm not sure what's going on here further away what is what is that because <laughs> that at any given moment I could be that I am I am that I am at any given moment at any given moment okay all right, just to give you guys a heads up here, you know, Go Black, he's always stopping random strangers on the street and interviewing them. So this guy is a, uh, he's moved to Brazil because that's where Go Black is uh, doing his production from or his video. And, uh, you know, he's retired and he uh, he's a former crack addict and drug dealer and just the whole nine. and. And, but now he's, you know, he's retired over there in Brazil and, you know, so-called living his best life. And uh, he's identifying as an American, not an African-American, but just an American. So, you know, Go Black doesn't agree with that. Um, I don't have a problem sharing with anybody or the world 
that I used to be strung out on crack. Mm -hmm. You know, because I started out being a victimizer, selling this shit to my community. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language. No, you can. But then, you know, understanding because I have a spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, uh, the challenges and the uh, destruction I was causing in my community, I became a victim of my own product. Yes. You know, and as a result of that, I had to realize that I am not the sum product of what America says that I am. Now, hold up, because this was my topic I was talking about coming here. Us believing that we are something because either we were told that you're African, you're American, you're this, you're that, you know, or we identify ourselves as being such that we limit ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That we, this God is what is I was talking good. about. God is good. This is what I was talking about. Yes, yes. So can I speak to that? Go ahead, brother. Because a lot of individuals ask me, uh, oh, so you're, you're African American. I'm like, no. Well, you're black. I'm like, no. I says, check this out. From the time I was born, or the time that Africans' descendants came to the continent, they were called slaves, they were called Negroes, they were called niggas, they were called color, they, you know? And I'm like, I'm American. My skin tone does not identify me. Hold up, First hold and up. foremost, you, I am a man. Do you, do you identify being American? His skin tone doesn't identify him, but his Negroid features sure do, and so does Go Black. They both have the white, black nose. They have the flaring nostrils. I mean, you know, you can tell the difference between these guys and like an Indian, because you know, a lot of Indians are super, super dark. I mean, you know, dark as, you know, black as night, actually. So Africans aren't the darkest people on the planet. They just aren't, you know, the Indians are pretty dark. Um, you know, they have a lot of Asian communities where people are pretty dark. So, um, so yeah, so it's not even just that, you know, it's the, uh, the uh, pheno phenotype, that's what I was looking for, it's your, it's your phenotype that actually identifies you and uh, puts you together with uh, other like people, you know, so I mean, Indians are dark, but they have a different phenotype, and you can tell the difference, so, uh, so no, you can't really go by skin tone, but, uh, but you can go by the phenotype. Yes, because that's where I was born. That's okay, where I was okay, born. Okay, okay, now, okay. Now, Mike, I'm a descendant of Africans, but I'm an American. I was born in America. Brother, I am so far removed from Africa, and I have to learn the culture. I don't know my language. I don't know what tribe I'm from. I don't know any of that. You're talking about <laughs> uh, the Stockholm Syndrome. Okay, where, yeah, where the yeah. captor falls in love uh, with his captor. To a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. And no, I do not have Stockholm Syndrome. Okay. So what I'm saying is, you know, because um, I am so far removed from Africa, yeah. you know, I'm an American of African descent. Mm -hmm. See, that's the key. Yeah. I understand my roots. Yeah. You know, and I honor my roots. Yeah. You know, and so um, um, if we as Americans who are African descendants start to do Pan-Africanism and start to reach out to other individuals who look like us that have been marginalized around the world and start to bring our power and our unity together in spirit, then we can have an understanding and we can actually grow because it's not about somebody giving us something, it's truly about our liberation. I'm coming to a close, family. His belief system, his perception, beautiful he's living his life and though that i might see differently because i've said i'm not african i'm not american i'm not going to label myself any further any longer because those are traps those are traps but i understood what he was saying because i was able to listen and get to a place of understanding there's no need for debate and arguments there's no, no need for me to try to convince him that he is not American. He defined it, that's his perception, and he's living on. What I'm saying to many of you all is don't believe because of the fact that they told you you are this or not that, that it makes it so. Don't believe because you were born into a country don't believe because you have uh, uh, 
they told you that your skin, your skin made you Morris, Negro, Black, Nigga. You know, these are words, but it don't define you. It's easy to see my skin as melanated. But does that make me who I am spiritually? Matter of fact, does it add any weight to my validity walking on earth? Does it open up any doors? It's going to probably close more than open. That's because the blacks won't unify. And you're not going to unify if you're sitting here going around saying, well, I'm not any of that. I'm not black. I'm not African. I'm not this. I'm not that. You know, when clearly, wherever you go, they're going to be like, hey, my brother. Because why? Because you have the same phenotype. You know, you have the same hair texture. You have the same nose, uh, lips, all this stuff in common. And I know there's, you know, places in Africa where, you know, they might have a slimmer nose or what have you. But a lot of, especially if you're looking at East Africa, those people are mixed race and also North Africa and South Africa, you know. So I would say the majority of mixed race people in Africa are in East Africa north and south africa so i don't know i don't know what he i don't know where he's going you know the things he's saying is just it's, it's it's not going to help us because he's sitting here saying oh well you know uh you know if i go around saying i'm african or black it's just going to close some doors but you know no matter what these others because he keeps saying they but you know we all know he's talking about, you know, the Europeans, you know, and I'm just sitting here looking like, well, hey, you know, we've had plenty of opportunities to define who we are, but we've always let them define it. But saying, you know, we're just going to reject all labels uh, is not the answer if we're really wanting to, at some point, unify, come together and... Um, you know, gain economic power, you know, regain the resources in Africa, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, we're going to have to self-identify as a group, just like the whites. Like I said before, <laughs> I don't see any of them going where, you know, I'm not white and I'm not European, you know, and I'm not accepting any of these labels because why? Because those labels are power. You know, white means power, you know, white means, you know, control, white means you know you have um you know access to resources and all kinds of things and uh until we decide we're going to unify for real you know uh self-identify you know i mean we can you know come up with whatever we want for that um but uh but yeah so i mean that's the only way we're going to gain any power you know we definitely are never going to have any if we don't come together if if we don't identify because i know i say uh I'm not, you know, we're not the same, but I mean, culturally, we're not the same. And, you know, a, a lot of us in America, we have, we do have some admixture and things like that. But so do, uh, you know, many Africans have admi admixture with others. So, uh, so yeah, so I don't know. Um, I think, I just think he's crazy. He, he was rambling a lot in his video. But it will close more doors by us subscribing to these labels and titles that have been given us and we believe in it okay guys so that's the end of the video uh please like this video please 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 pretty please and let me know in the comments what you think about you know go black and what he's saying i mean do you think uh we'll be able to unify if we decide to you know, just get rid of all of these labels, black, African, African-American, Hebrew, Israelites, what have you. And if you don't believe that, I mean, you know, how do you think we can do it? You know, what do you think are, we should self-identify as, you know? So let me know in the comments, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.